Hi, my name is Raphael Hostetler. I am the founder and future robot number one of Devantro, the robot company. We are building robots that copy or imitate the human body. We are doing something that's called telepresence. And telepresence is transporting your presence, senses, and action from one point in space to another. It's a bit like teleportation, but you're sort of jumping into a robot. So the audience will see a very, well, I hope for interesting and lively discussion on what it takes to bridge people together and bring them closer to each other in especially the current very difficult times. And we are not just talking about it, but we are showing it live. Um, so Laura Koicheva is in Munich during this event. And instead of being present at the event through video call or other means nowadays that sort of limit her capacity of physical interaction, she will be embodying a humanoid robot. Robo is a very special type of robot. And what makes it special is that it imitates the human musculoskeletal system. So the robot has muscles and tendons like we humans do. And that's in contrast to most other robots out there who usually have motors in the joints. And now you might ask, why would you want to do this? And this is, we're doing this because it builds or creates robots that are closer to the human body. They behave more like the human body, so the motions are more fluent. Uh, they, the passive dynamics, so if you, uh, for example, touch a robot or if you shake its hand, although it's off, it's much more like it would be for a human. So the grand challenge about building a humanoid robot like Growboy and the teleprison system is basically everything. Uh, because we basically have to bring together and solve a lot of very small problems in, in many, many technologies. So we're integrating re recent results from virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, uh, of course, robotics, uh, but also like how you interact um, with the robot. And then I even work with an anthropologist um, to understand how we need to build these systems to truly give people like the feeling of connectedness.